One of the questions that I often get asked is, why am I a diocesan priest? Now, a diocesan priest is one who studies for a particular region and will always be assigned to churches, various ministries, within the boundaries of that diocese. So, for example, I am a priest of the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. I did so because, although we don't have an official charism, I think diocesan priests' real ministry is family life. We're there at baptisms, First Communion and Reconciliation, we're there to marry people, to anoint those who are sick, to bury those who have died, be involved in the early school life and the catechesis of our people, really just there on the ground in the lives of the faithful, those we were raised with. I'm from Milwaukee. But what about the other religious charisms? Now, the Dominicans, they teach, they preach, they offer ministries all around the globe. The Franciscans serve the poor, they feed them meals, they shelter them. The Jesuits, the Jesuits in a particular way, they serve as missionaries who go to the very edges of our globe to preach the gospel, to teach those, to sanctify the lives of those they encounter. And they do so with this great Ignatian charism, this love and fidelity that St. Ignatius detailed by his life, his work, and in his writings. Now, I love the Jesuits. I went to Marquette University High School down in Milwaukee. I studied at Loyola Chicago. And I did my theological studies in Rome at the Gregorian University, the university that St. Ignatius himself founded. And something I love about the Jesuits, but was certainly present early in their formation, is just this great desire, this great zeal that you read in the lives of these Jesuit saints to go where nobody else would want to go, to place themselves in the midst of great danger because they so sincerely believe in the gospel and in the power that it has to change the lives of people. They say that the gospel is this pearl of great price, and so of course they're willing to accept any danger, any obstacle, for the sake of sharing it with those they might encounter along the way. And so some of these great Jesuit missionaries, these great Jesuit saints that we can think of are the North American martyrs, St. Isaac Jogues, St. John de Brebeuf and their companions, these French Jesuit missionaries, the ones who came to the New World on fire with this desire to preach the gospel now these ones in particular, these men, they preach the gospel to the Huron people. In their desire to serve the Huron people, they came up with a vocabulary, a dictionary of Huron French words, which they could use to form almost like a catechism for the Huron people. They were so committed to baptizing them, marrying them, offering mass for them. But at the same time, the Hurons were at war with the Iroquois people. And the Iroquois did not account much for these men who had come to preach a pagan god to them. And so these martyrs, they were tortured, they were maimed, they were burned, they were beheaded. They were put to death for the sake of the gospel. Now, Tertullian tells us the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. And we see in the new world, in the witness of their lives, the great power and presence that Christianity still maintains in our hemisphere. We see the witness of their lives continues to flourish despite them having passed centuries ago. We see their witness, such a great reminder to us of the courage that we need in spreading the gospel. Now, when we spread the gospel, I would hazard to say there aren't people who want to torture and maim and murder us. Although you never know. Perhaps we need the courage in that moment. But nonetheless, it takes great courage to preach the gospel in those small moments, bearing mockery or condescension or sarcasm in a world that says, this is not the way you should follow you should follow our way instead. And so though our bodies might not be maimed, our spirits may be harmed as well. And so we need to pray to these saints and we need to look to their witness in so many ways so we grow in our capacity to understand that the gospel, our faith, our belief in Jesus Christ, the power of our baptism is that pearl of great price. It's something that not only we should treasure, but we should want to share with everyone we encounter. And so although we might not be martyred for the sake of the gospel, that martyrdom comes to us in small ways. It comes to us in small moments and small encounters. And so we have to look and seek the intercession of these great North American martyrs, these great Jesuit missionaries, to intercede for us, to help give us the courage that we need to stay true to the gospel. May God bless and keep you.